guys, I'm Nancy and I'm a college student, public health worker, and I have experience in other areas of healthcare, and I'm also a lover for positivity. In this video, I'm going to give you the four steps you need to take if you're worried about failing a class. Before we begin, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Instagram. I am new to YouTube and I would like to promote a positive and safe community here in my channel. If you have a new channel too or are in need of an extra subscriber, please let me know down in the comments because I would love to support your journey. Alright, let's get on with the video. Okay, so based on the four steps, I have them in the order I would recommend them. However, you can change up the order depending on the severity of your grade or of your worry. I would recommend that you take all four steps for it to be highly effective. Step number one, change your study habits. If you're not doing so great in a class, it's probably because the way you're studying for that class or preparing for the exams or doing the homework might not be the best way. There are just some things I would recommend for you to change to see if it improves your test taking skills or your understanding in the class. The first thing is read the textbook if you aren't reading it already. Sometimes we can get away by not reading the textbook or just by skimming it over. But if it's a class that we don't understand, it's very important that we read the textbook because it gives us another chance to rehearse the information we already learned in the lecture or in class. Rehearsing the information, reading it over again, hearing it again, really does help our memory. The next thing I would recommend is making your own quizzes. So I call these study quizzes. These are quizzes that I make for myself based off the material that I learned before the actual exam. So it's just a way for me to find out what I know, what I need to know a little bit better, and just kind of to quiz myself and see where I'm at in the class. And the third thing I highly recommend is for you to explain the material, the subject, or the information you're learning to one of your friends, then have them ask you questions about it afterwards. So this is a way for you to master the material, to kind of see your understanding on the material, and to be able to explain it to someone else. The second step is to look for resources in your school or your college. So if there's a tutor, I highly recommend that you go to the tutor. If there's a TA, a teaching assistant, at your college or your university, I highly recommend that you reach out to them. They're there to help you. I'm personally a TA for one of the classes at my university, and I'm very open to helping the students. I'm very open to them emailing me or to doing the virtual sessions. I'm really excited and I really want them to learn, and I really want them to understand the material. TAs are here to help you. Feel free to reach out to them. Sometimes a lot of people don't reach out to them, so they have a lot of time, and they're really willing to help people. They might be a really good source for you to have. There's someone who really wants you to understand the material. There's someone who's, t they've taken the class before. They know the professor very well, and they can actually be one of your best resources in class. Number three, go to a writing center. So if your school or college offers a writing center, you have essays due in that class that you're struggling, I highly suggest you go. And the reason why is because in a class that you're struggling with, you want to get the best grades you can in every assignment and every test so we can really boost up your grade. By going to the writing center, they will read over your essays and they will give you constructive criticism and it can be really helpful for you not only on that assignment but on your future assignments or in other classes. So I highly recommend that you go to the writing center and you really pay attention to what they have to say about your writing. My, my get, it might get you a good grade on that assignment and therefore boost up your grade in that class. And it will also provide you with good resources to use next time you have to write an essay. Another thing you can do is study groups. So I like to study with other people. I have to study the material on my own first and then I go and find other people that I can study with only after I already have a good understanding on the topic. I highly suggest looking for groups that you can do that with that are in your same class or maybe friends that are taking the same class. And that way you guys can really quiz each other and kind of explain things if you don't really understand. All right, the third step that you need to do is to speak up with your teacher or your professor. Talking to your professor or your teacher is very important and the reason why is because they know you're struggling and sometimes when students don't say anything, teachers can think that you just don't care and you don't want that. You want the teacher to know that you're trying 
that you are trying to get better in their class. They want to see growth, they want to see improvement, but they also want to see you trying. That says a lot about someone. Not everyone's going to be perfect in every class, not everyone's going to get straight A's all the time. You know, people are going to struggle at different points or in different classes, different subjects. That's normal, but the important thing is growing from that and learning and improving. That says a lot about a person, especially a student. So teachers really want to see you trying. Um, something I highly recommend is either emailing them or staying after class and talking to them, being like, hi, professor, I just wanted to talk to you because I'm sure you know I'm struggling in your class a little bit. I've tried this, this, and this, and this, which can be step one and step two that I mentioned previous to this one. I wanted to see if there was anything else you think I should try or any suggestions or any advice you would have for me. To really show them that you're trying and you've tried several things before coming to them. You've tried to solve that like problem. Step number four is consider credit or no credit option, also known as pass, pass or no pass. This is more for colleges. So basically the concept behind credit or no credit option is to be able to take your class and then apply this option and then get credit for it if you get a passing grade. However, that grade letter will not appear on your transcript. If you pass the class, where your grade should be, you will get a CR for credit unless they use uh, different symbols, but that's what we do in my school. But since you did not get a letter grade, it will not affect your GPA. And this is a good resource if you're doing really bad in the class, you just wanna to try to pass it. Like you don't even care about the grade anymore. It's that bad, um, which happens, you know, but you're worried about it affecting your GPA or the rest of your like plan because you really wanted to get that GPA. You really wanna get into a good master's program or whatever your concerns may be. This might be a good option for you just because you won't have to worry about this class affecting your GPA. You only really have to worry about passing the class with the minimal passing grade, which is not ideal, but I mean, in some situations it does happen. The thing with this is it's really something that you should consider and like think about because it could affect you in a positive way, but it could also affect you negatively. This is an option that isn't available for every course you have to look in the specific requirements it has to get approved you can only take this option during a specific amount of time because it does have a deadline so it's a lot of things you have to consider but i highly recommend that you inform yourself about it so you know it's there you know your options even if you're a straight a student i highly recommend that you do look for information about it because you never know if you might need it in the future. It has a lot to it, and if you guys want me to make a separate video just on credit, no credit, pass, no pass, I would be more than happy to. Just let me know down in the comments because it is a little bit more tedious, and for each school it might be different. Why it's important that you kind of do your own investigation in that sense, but I can give you a good video on a, a nice overview about it and the pros and cons. So if you guys want that, feel free to let me know down in the comments. All right guys, so I hope these steps were helpful for you. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate the support. And if you guys have any questions or have any comments or just want to stop by and say hi, feel free to put it down in the comments or DM me on Instagram. I love helping people and meeting new people, so I will try to answer you as quick as I can. Before I go, I just wanna tell you something. If no one has told you this yet today, you are strong, you are capable, and you will get through whatever hard time you might be going through right now. Remember to stay positive, guys. See you in the next video.